it seems like right now as just a collective everyone is just having a really hard time there's everything going on in the world itself wars famine poverty gas prices being through the roof the roe v wade stuff everything is just difficult and on top of that a lot of people in my personal life and myself included are going through their own difficult time and isn't that just the way as soon as it feels like the world is imploding in on itself everything in your personal life has to fall apart as well but i figured given that i'm not the only one struggling right now and a lot of people are really going through a hard time it might be fun to just have a goofy harmless time today because I think we could use a little bit of a break. Now this is still something that is being shown in the news. In fact, it's now on an international scale, but it isn't really anything that harms anyone. And I am someone who has always just had a fun soft spot for really stupid news stories. They just crack me up the fact that people do things that just make no sense sometimes and think they're gonna get away with them. So I actually have two different funny news stories to share with you today. And I think I'm gonna start making this a regular thing on here just because it's a good break from all the doom and gloom in the world right now. And I think we could all just use that. So the first one is actually a lawsuit. This is a story I was talking about that is internationally known now. I'm reading it from the Washington Post, but you can actually read it from basically any publication that you can think of. And it is McDonald's and Wendy's accused of beefing up burgers in ads. The bacon is sizzling and the onions crispy. Slices of American cheese melted and gooey peek through the toppings, blankets, what looks like a juicy and thick burger patty. Like a sommelier assessing a fine wine, a man grabs the burger, pulls it close to his nose, and takes in the aroma. Handcrafted by hand. Off to a great start there. Aged for zero years, local customers say it can only bear that name if it was crafted in a Wendy's. The ad for the fast food chain's bourbon bacon cheeseburger concludes. But the mouth-watering burger from the video and other advertisement materials is nothing like the ones given to customers at Wendy's, according to a lawsuit filed Tuesday in U.S. District Court for the Eastern District of New York. Because New York, with all the nonsense with like NYPD and everything lately, has absolutely nothing better to do with its time, apparently, than create lawsuits around burger advertisements. <laughs> the 35-page class action complaint alleges that both Wendy's and McDonald's are duping customers by overstating the size of their food items and the amount of toppings they include in false and misleading advertising. Now, false advertising is a legitimately dastardly thing in a lot of cases. You are playing with people's money, especially in times like this where you know the economy is really messed up and people need to get their money's worth i do think that it's important to make sure you're honest in your advertisement of your product of course and yes it does suck when you spend your hard-earned money on food only to realize that it's nothing like it was advertised but like a 35 page class action lawsuit that's going to take so much time and effort to get through to even decipher whether or not it's going to go anywhere. And I just can't believe someone even had the time to worry about something as trivial as a burger to that extent. <laughs> Wendy's and McDonald's advertisements for its burger and menu items are unfair and financially damaging customers as they are receiving food that is much lower in value than what is being promised, the complaint says. The two fast food giants are among the list of quick service restaurants being slapped with lawsuits over their promotions alleged beefed up patties. In March, the same three law firms involved in the new case made similar allegations against Burger King. <laughs> so basically, it's a group of lawyers, it sounds like, who have literally nothing better to do with their time right now when women's rights are being potentially overturned in this country, queer rights are being overturned, disability rights. <laughs> racism is running rampant all of these horrible things are happening in the united states right now 
And what you're choosing to turn your attention to is the fact that your burger wasn't made big enough. It's just absolutely crazy to me. I cannot believe that a law firm is actually taking the time to do something like this. And trust me, they're not the only stupid news. I'm sure it's, from what I've seen, they are serious about pushing this lawsuit through. I honestly can't wait to see how this goes because if I was the judge, I'd be like, this is seriously what you're wasting my time with today. This is stupid. <laughs> like everybody knows it's not going to look like the advertisement. There have been full documentaries made around food stylists and how they make it look a certain way for the advertisement. And everyone has seen these documentaries where they show that they use like styrofoam for the beef patty and stuff and um, shaving cream for whipped cream on a shake and everything. Like it's pretty common knowledge at this point. And even if you haven't seen documentaries like that, the internet is basically everywhere. Even if you don't have Wi-Fi, you've probably got a phone or access to a library. It is not difficult to find this information. <laughs> but as if a lawsuit over burger sizes wasn't silly enough, I can do you one even better. This is the final story of the night. And of course, it's a Florida man story. <laughs> man arrested for repeatedly Man arrested for repeatedly calling 911 to say Biden needs to be placed in prison. A Florida man has been accused of calling 911 repeatedly to say he believes President Joe Biden should be arrested. Authorities said 29-year-old Jacob Philbeck of Palm Harbor made the calls and was instead <laughs> arrested. Philbeck is facing a misuse of wireless 911 system charge for contacting dispatchers multiple times after he was told to stop calling, <laughs> according to a police report. <laughs> Dude, the defendant stated El Chapo needed to be freed from prison and President Biden needed to be placed in prison. This is honestly the most Florida man thing ever. Like, as soon as they said this guy is from Florida, like, nothing about this even remotely surprises me. But, like, what's... <laughs> it's funny, but it's not funny. So, like, the not funny part of it is obviously the fact that if you're calling 911 nonstop over something trivial, then chances are you are making it so that the dispatcher is not able to take an important call from someone who actually needs help, someone who's had a heart attack, someone whose home is being broken into, someone who was in a car wreck. That's important. Like this is why, you know, pranks to 911 are not funny and you get arrested for them because you can actually cost someone their life by doing that. There's only so many dispatchers. However, there's something so just goofy funny about the fact that he was calling so many times that they had to ask him to stop and he still didn't so he got he got arrested for trying to get Biden arrested. Police said Philbeck was told the information he was providing was not an emergency. He was then advised not to use 911 for non-emergency situations or non-criminal activity. But authorities said Philbeck refused to comply. He then called again and made the same statement. The defendant shortly after contacted the 911 service telephone line again, requesting deputies in regard to the same exact issue the report noted. Deputies made contact with the defendant who was on an active e 911 emergency line. At the time the defendant stated El Chapo needed to be freed and President Biden needed to be placed in prison, repeating himself. The report noted that Philbeck was taken into custody on May 8th, just after 6 a.m., for utilizing the E911 system to report non emergency and non criminal matters. The defendant contacted the E911 service line approximately three times within an approximate one hour time period, the report noted. It's unclear why Philbeck thinks Biden should be arrested. This is. This is so odd because it's like, part of me is like, he has to be joking, right? Like, the fact that he keeps saying free El Chapo and put Biden in his cell for one thing, like, that's, that's the most random thing ever. And the fact that they kept asking him to stop and he did it anyway, I'm like, it has to be a joke. He has to be messing with them. But also Florida, 
it could just be on drugs, like, who knows? But yeah, I mean, I don't have a whole lot more to contribute to this video. I just thought we could all use a little bit of a laugh at some stupid news stories today. And hopefully it put a little bit of a smile on your face knowing that you might be having a bad day, but somewhere in Florida, a man has been arrested for trying to get Biden arrested, and at least you're not him. <laughs> but yeah, I guess as always, do something that makes you happy today, as long as you're not trying to get Biden arrested, and I'll see all of you again soon.